Yeah? Am I sexy? <laughs> oh, you're dead sexy, hey. Come on into the ditch. I'm your resident ditch witch, Tara Tyne, and we're about to get witchy, whether you like it or not. Well, really, today it's more about makeover montages. Yeah, I know you love a bit of time lapse. I do too. A little bit of before and after. So we're at the stage now. We're trying to make the mobile home look nice and feel nice and ready to live in. So the first thing we have to do is a little bit of painting. Those of you who've been around since last September will remember that painting is not my favorite thing, but at least this time it feels like our efforts are going towards something lasting and worthwhile. There's been some exciting work done on site at the new house as well. We've been creating a space for the mobile to live in once it's been transported the 100 or so kilometers it needs to travel first. So I have a bit of that to show you today as well. And before I forget, I'd like to say a big thank you and welcome to Willa Grant, my newest channel member, who's just become a Baltina level supporter. All support is muchly appreciated as we steamroll towards our new adventure. Look Dave, it's a miracle. The stars have aligned. And not only am I allowed away from my desk and out of the house to do something that isn't painting or scrubbing, but it's actually also sunny. I can't believe it. This might be like the only day this year this is gonna happen. Absolutely amazing, <laughs> so it is. Let's go buy some linoleum. <laughs> Shopping for lino was all well and good, but we had the small matter of the old flooring to deal with first, so myself and Dave rolled up our sleeves again and took care of business. There were some old vents and things to work around, they mostly came away with the carpet due to age. We're planning on replacing some of them, but we're afraid it might leave us cold in the winter if we replace them all. Opinions in the comments, please. And finally, it was the turn of the professionals. Michael from CNC Carpets, you're an artist. You might remember the massive hole we had in the floor in the last video, well I'm pleased to say Dave did a lovely job of patching it up, as well as another one which appeared in the floor beside the other external door when it was time to lift the fridge out. And finally we managed to open the door you see here, which has been dead bolted since before we bought the mobile. Yeah, do a bit of that then. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a very exciting day and I like you, I haven't seen the after shots yet so we're going to go in and do that now with uh, my new key to my new home. It's very exciting Dave to have a key that actually works in this door. God bless TNG Burn Locksmiths Dundalk for coming out and doing this at pretty short notice for us. And now we have two working doors. Nice one, lads. Right job. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's really beautiful. Oh, I just have to climb a wee bit. Oh, wow, it looks so well. And now it's time for the really juicy stuff. Check out the before and after.
Now, this isn't the finished product, as I'm sure you can guess. There's still an awful lot needs to be done. I have to make some kind of curtains or blinds for all of the windows. I have quite a lot of scrap fabric, so I'm thinking about maybe doing some upcycling, recycling stuff. Or I'm also thinking about maybe looking to the future and seeing, you know, what it is that we want to do with this space kind of long term and uh, maybe invest in, in some nice kind of dressings and things like that. You really have to find a balance between the two. It has to feel homely, feel comfortable, feel warm, especially when it's getting really cold in the winter time. But at the same time, we're on a serious budget. We definitely have to cover these sofas anyway, I think, Dave. Yeah, definitely. The fabric and the actual foam underneath is just pure disintegrating. So I've kind of been having a wee browse at some fabrics I could use, maybe just buy several meters and do my best to just cover the whole lot in rather than actually taking it apart and stuff. I tried recovering an armchair once and it didn't go particularly well, did it Dave? Uh, it went half well. It went half well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, no harm having some projects over the winter to keep me busy when I can't do an awful lot outside. But isn't the lino just gorgeous? Yeah, absolutely, that was I think we made a good choice, Dave, didn't we? Oh, they did. And the, the chap, Michael, who was over here, did an excellent job. Like, it's, you he's can't a, really see he's it. He's a real so perfectionist. Tight. Like, so if you're in the Dundalk, Louth area and you need some lino laid in an awkward space, CNC carpets are the ones you want to talk to. Now, believe it or not, this video is not sponsored, despite me plugging all the local businesses. But I have to say, you know, the guys at the locksmiths and the guys at CNC were just so accommodating. We expected to be going in and people looking at us like we two heads because it's a mobile home that we wanted laid in and they're like notoriously difficult. But we just weren't fit to try it ourselves. We thought, you know, we're going to have to live with this forever and we really wanted to make sure it was done right and Michael, God bless him, my God, he's done some job. It's perfection, like even between rooms, he's even managed to line up the plank effect, like it's... The man it's, has levels for eyes. Yeah, he does have levels for eyes, he's just spectacular, like. So CNC carpets and the other good thing that I did say I would mention for them is that they will bring the showroom to you. So if you've no way of getting out to them, they're based out in Dramiskin, then just give them a call and they will come measure the space, leave some samples with you. Like, they're just brilliant. So highly recommend. And thanks again, guys. You have done a hell of a job with it. We finished up just in time to hear from Simon, our electrician in Leitrim, who is currently double jobbing as our mobile home site prep technician and digger driver. I'm putting a link to his page in the description below. He's an absolute lifesaver. Thanks, Simon. Okay. Tara and Dave's love shack, take one. Oh. That's what's done today. Entrance in the side. Old made in. And a spot made for the mobile home. Okay, my beautiful assistant Cahill. Turn it on fully to see what the pressure is like. That is low fully. Pressure isn't great, but it's water. So I think we deserve a cup of tea after all that, Dave. What do you think? Two cups will take you back to back. Yeah, and pretty soon we'll actually be moving our down on site and that's the bit we're really, really concerned about because if you remember in, I think it was the last video I showed you where the beam is kind of rotted on the mobile. So, and it's right under this door where I'm sitting. So we're really hoping that she doesn't just snap in two either when it's being put on the lorry or taken off the lorry but you know small victories one at a time Dave one step at a time is all you can do really and I think this is a pretty good step that we just took here 
literally I think it'll be lovely to walk on in the winter looking forward to doing a bit more but also looking forward to just having this weekend off oh my god so if you want to follow along on all my exploration and craft adventures over the next few months then hit subscribe for more fun and witchy adventures I upload as often as I possibly can and you're not gonna want to miss it Slánagas Bánacht, goodbye and good luck to you.